Donald Trump's obsessions were on full display today, including his endless obsessions with President Obama and former CIA director John Brennan. There was a lot of corruption. Maybe it goes right up to President Obama. I happen to think it does. Uh, but you look at Brennan and you look at Clapper and you get some real beauties. I know that they're looking into the corruption. Obviously, the IG report's coming. Joining us now is John Brennan, former director of the CIA. He's a senior national security and intelligence analyst for MSNBC and NBC News. And Director Brennan, I have a feeling that in Donald Trump's impeachment trial on the floor of the United States Senate, when he's allowed a final statement to the jury, that he's going to be talking about the corruption of Barack Obama and the corruption of John Brennan. He, he, he seems incapable of facing the corruption charges that are facing him. Uh, do you want to respond to what he said about you today? Well, Lawrence, uh, the only thing I'll say is that I proudly wear his criticism as a badge of honor. And I think more and more Americans should take that same approach because Donald Trump, I think, is showing his true colors uh, more and more so every day with his continued dishonesty, his continued uh, mischaracterizations of reality. And so it, it bothers me not one whit what Donald Trump says about me. I was very proud to have served my country for 33 years for Republican and Democratic senator, uh, presidents. Um, and I have never seen anything that approaches the extent of incompetence, corruption, and dishonesty that I see coming out of the White House today. It's appalling, and quite frankly, it's a disgrace and an embarrassment. So uh, what he says does not bother me at all. You know, I would ask for a more uh, specific response, but there's nothing specific in the stuff that he spews. And, and I'm almost embarrassed to, to bring it up to you. Could you please stay with us over this break? Because when we come back, I want to ask you about that statement Nancy Pelosi made today about all roads lead to Putin uh, with Donald Trump. We'll do that right after this break. And we're back with former CIA director John Brennan. And as you heard Nancy Pelosi say today directly to the president that all roads lead to Putin with you, uh, saying that in the context of Donald Trump uh, this week, basically handing over the Kurds to Vladimir Putin. Uh, wh what, what do you look at when you see those roads that Nancy Pelosi was talking about? Well, Lawrence, the uh, intelligence community's assessment that was done on Russian interference in our election that was done in January of 2017, there's a reference in there to a Russian who was saying that the champagne corks were going to be popping in Moscow because Russia would be able to have its way in Ukraine and Syria with Donald Trump's election. Unfortunately, that was a very prescient comment. But it's clear that Trump's ignorance of U.S. national security interests, as well as global affairs, is just handing over to Vladimir Putin the opportunities to increase Russia's influence and ability to shape our world events as the U.S. recedes from its traditional responsibilities and obligations, particularly to our allies. And the removal of U.S. troops from that Syrian area with the Kurds is just the latest example of Donald Trump continuing to ignore what our responsibilities have been. You know, it's quite interesting that uh, Trump continues to tout what he has done for the U.S. military, but I think he wants a parade ground military as opposed, as opposed to a U.S. military to, that can help to stabilize some of these areas that are racked by conflict and war. And those thousand troops were preventing this slaughter that we're seeing now and betraying a, uh, the allies of the, the Kurds when they gave over 10,000 lives in order to help defeat ISIS. Uh, there are reports tonight that uh, the investigation of Rudy Giuliani is now a counterintelligence investigation or includes a counterintelligence investigation. What does that mean to you? It means that there is concern that either classified information has been shared with a foreign entity or that somebody is actively working, usually with a foreign party, to undermine U.S. national security interests. And so as more and more of the reports have come out about some of these partners of Mr. Giuliani, Furman and uh, Parnas uh, and Fertash and others, it is clear that there was rampant corruption that was going on that Mr. Giuliani was at least uh, aware of and may have been engaged in. And whether or not now there is real serious concern about the damage to our national security that could have triggered that counterintelligence investigation. So I look to my brothers and sisters in the FBI 
to continue to pull these threads to understand exactly what Mr. Giuliani and then by extension Donald Trump was involved in with what was clearly uh, corrupt intent and activities uh, with the Ukrainians. I want to get your reaction to what we're seeing now uh, in the State Department in particular, people who've put in decades of service in the State Department, as you put in decades of service in the government, coming forward to testify in these impeachment uh, depositions in the House, even though they're doing it against the the will of the Secretary of State and the Trump administration. uh, Is this what you would actually expect from people with that kind of dedication to their jobs? Absolutely. And I know many of these individuals and I couldn't be more pleased or prouder that we have these dedicated public servants in the diplomatic corps and the intelligence community and other places that are now speaking out and rising up against what they see. And so whether it's Ambassador McKinley, uh, Ambassador Yovanovitch uh, and others, and now we have Bill Taylor, the charge and Kiev who's coming back. I think this is what the House committees need in order to understand those activities that were taking place within the the earshot of our diplomats, and uh, I'm glad that they are speaking out so forcefully against what has been going on. John Brennan, thank you very much for joining us. I know this is not the last time Donald Trump will attack you, so we'll always be here for, as your forum uh, to respond when you want to. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Lawrence. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on the button below for more from The Last Word and the rest of MSNBC.